Welcome to the channel everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing an oil change on my uh, Ranger 900 here. Uh, pretty simple process guys. I just kind of let the machine warm up. Uh, I think they say let it run for a few minutes or so uh, before you start the oil change. And then uh, the easiest way I know to get your oil and your filter is to get like one of these um, these oil change kits. And this one here is for, uh, it's actually for a bunch of uh, stuff, but it does the Ranger 900 and the Razor 900 and 1000. And it actually does, I think, more than that. But um, I'll leave the link for this one. This one should work for all the, the Ranger 900s out there. Okay, so here's what comes in the box. Um, you get all the oil you need uh, for, for your uh, particular uh, machine you have. Um, you get a uh, Polaris uh, oil filter, the right one for your machine. You get this disposable uh, funnel um, that it actually comes in handy sometimes. And then uh, you get a, a washer for your uh, drain plug. You're supposed to replace this, I guess, every, uh, every time you change the oil. So um, they send one of those too. So it's a, pretty much a complete uh, oil change. Uh, kit in a box and uh, I like it. This is pretty much what I get for all my machines Everything I've ever had I uh, usually get one of these oil change kits. Uh, I go through Amazon. I'll leave a link uh, Seems like they're cheaper Amazon plus it's delivered right to my door. I don't have to drive to the players dealer so anyway, I'm gonna Get to uh, I'm gonna pull my drain plug uh, get under there pull that Start draining the oil and uh, get this uh, oil change underway. Okay, so when working on your Ranger, some people might not know. Um, yes, you know, you can lift up the bed like that, but if you disconnect it, you pull a little cotter pin and uh, pull the pin out of it, you can uh, get a little more height out of here. You get a little more room back here. So that gives you a little more room to work under here. Um, you just disconnect the bed shock and let it fall uh, all the way back. I do have bigger tires, so I'm not getting uh, the full effect but if you do have stock size tires, this thing will go pretty much vertical in the air. But um, this is plenty enough room to work in here. So I'm going to get to it. Okay, so to drain the, the oil, you got to come down under your machine. And there's a plastic skid plate under the whole thing. And there's a, one of the holes in the skid plate is, is bigger. And it's uh, kind of oblong. That's the, the hole you need. Or that's where the, the drain plug's going to be, guys. Um, you need a 6 uh, millimeter Allen is what that's going to be. Make sure your, your plug is cleaned out. There's no dirt in there because you want to get uh, good contact with your wrench. You don't strip out that uh, Allen, that, uh, Allen bolt. You're going to need a container that's going to hold uh, about two and a half quart, I believe. 
I got this gallon jug with a the top cut out of it. That should uh, do it. Make sure your wrench is going the right way. Shouldn't be on there too, too tight guys, the, the drain plug because it's uh, there's a torque spec. I don't exactly know what it is, but I'll probably put it on the screen there. And there's the washer that you need to replace. I don't think I replaced it last time, but I'm going to let that drain out. Okay, so here's the drain plug guys. Like I said, six millimeter uh, Allen um, for this. And like, like I said, make sure it's clean so you get really um, good contact and you can slide your, your Allen all the way in there. You don't want to strip that out. This is the washer we're going to replace. Again, I think they recommend replacing this um, every oil change. I don't think I did it last time because I don't think I had the washer, but I think it's recommended to do it. I have one, so I'm going to change it this time. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Uh, the oil filter, which is down there, right below the, the headers. Um, that's, that's the only reason it's not fun is because the headers are usually warm after you've warmed up your, your vehicle to change the oil. So it's usually not real fun to stick your hand in there. I am going to remove this. Uh, I believe this is the exhaust for the clutch. I'm going to pull that out of the way. It gives you a little more access um, to that oil filter. Okay, so with that uh, exhaust out of the way, you can see much easier to get it, get a hold of that uh, oil filter. Um, one thing is it's going to make a little bit of a mess because they got it uh, kind of on the side of the motor. So when you unscrew that, you're going to get oil kind of all over the motor. Once I do the oil change, I like to spray in there with some degreaser and clean it up the best I can, but... I find the best way to do this is just to spin it off as quick as you can and then turn it so it don't spill any more oil to try to minimize the mess you're going to have under your machine. Okay, so next you're going to uh, want to clean uh, the, the gasket area that the oil filter is going to sit on. Make sure uh, everything's kind of dirty in here guys, so make sure you're not dropping dirt into uh, your oil filter uh, housing right there. Okay, then we got uh, fresh oil around the uh, oil filter gasket and I'm going to spin this thing on. Uh, another quick thing you might want to check is make sure your your oil filter numbers are the same. Um, you should have the right oil filter but you never know guys things happen. Okay so there's my new filter installed and um, I usually just tighten it as much as I can by hand. There's not a whole lot of room um, I don't consider myself a Hulk, so um, I just I just tighten her as much as I can by hand. I think they say right on the filter there, um, once your gasket makes contact, three quarters of a turn. Um, but like I said, I usually just, just tighten it as much as I can by hand. So now we're back under the machine. Got my drain plug here and the new washer. Gonna do some wipe up of the uh, area where the drain plug goes. Gonna reinstall the drain plug. And then, like I said, 
There is a torque on this and I will put that up on the on the screen. But it's, it's, I don't think it's a whole lot. Well, so we're done under here now. So I'm going to uh, go back up top and we're going to add the oil. Which should be, uh, I believe, two and a half quart. Whatever the kit sends me. Okay guys, so now it's time to add the oil. This is not difficult. You got your oil fill on the top of the engine. Just make sure you don't dump crud inside your engine when you take that off. And then you add your oil. Now this thing takes, I believe the all the oil the kit sends you. Um, if you're not confident in that, I would say add uh, some to it and then check it. Uh, I've done this before so I know this kit will work. Um, it takes the full, uh, it takes all the oil they send you in the kit. And that's going to be it guys, once I get this uh, last quart dumped in here. This funnel is actually really nice, it's, it's, it's a nice touch that they send that with the whole kit. That way you ain't got to look for one, usually ours are dirty and I got to clean them. So it's just kind of a nice little touch. So I'm going to reinstall my my oil fill cap guys, we're going to fire it up, pressurize the system, uh, then I'm going to, I'm going to back outside the door, I'm going to spray my, uh, my um, engine down with, with degreaser to help get uh, some of that oil, the oil filter spilt everywhere. Uh, make sure if you took off your, uh, exhaust, your clutch exhaust, that you reinstall that. Make sure you tighten the clamp. Um, you don't want water getting into your clutch. Okay, so you want to check for leaks under your machine. Make sure your, your drain plug is installed and your filter is installed tight. And I'm going to fire this thing up. Okay, so one more thing I like to do uh, with an oil change is uh, grease my suspension and stuff. And I've got the high lifter um, control arms here, but the factory ones should have grease certs on them too. You can see right there. And then the top one right there. So there are grease points um, on these 900 Rangers. So I like to hit those. Um, when I do an oil change So there it is guys an oil change on my uh, Ranger 900 hopefully uh, help someone out and uh, I guess I'll see you me and the dog We're gonna go uh, Enjoy our Ranger. I'll see you guys <laughs>